So uh, we're working on how uh, sound is made in musical instruments. And of course we know that that's through vibration. Now vibration can be done in a couple of different ways. Uh, I sh have shown you how it's made on a piano. That's hammers hitting the strings and making them vibrate. Um, but for some, it's in how we blow. We actually blow air and that causes a vibration. So uh, I know we looked a little bit at, um, like Mr. Ward has been doing uh, instruments in an orchestra. And so you've learned a little bit about a flute and some other instruments. So this is a kind of a different instrument. This is called a shofar or a ram's horn. So a long time ago, uh, before modern instruments were made, sometimes they just used what they had around, and a ram is a male sheep. So this was literally a horn on the head of a sheep, for reals, okay? And so they, uh, you know, when they would um, have the sheep, like, to eat, they would try to use as much as they could off of the animals. So they would cut off the horns and they discovered that they were, um, I believe, hollow inside or that they could hollow them out. I, I'm not sure which, if they hollowed it or it was already hollow inside. And I definitely know they would then at this end kind of carve it out a certain way. And then you do like uh, for a trumpet and you go, <laughs> to make the vibration. So it's a fun thing to do. You put your lips together and you blow and uh, try to keep the lips together though because if they come apart, it doesn't do it anymore. So uh, just don't do it in the face of somebody, please. So you do that inside of here. sounds funny I'm not a very good uh, shofar player or trumpet player for that matter either but hey I can still make noise out of it and these you know if you're outside and somebody blew one of these you could hear it pretty far away it's a pretty loud sound and so it carries uh, real far that that was a way to alert if they saw a, like a lookout at the, at the edge of a property or area saw um, you know an army coming towards them or bandits or something, they could blow this and alert everybody else on the property that something's going on. Yeah. And how tight you make your lips is which kind of note, how high or low it is, but based on how tight your lips are, kind of like how tight the strings are makes it high or low. Uh, same with how tight you blow that if you do it real tight in the mouthpiece, it's high. And if it's just kind of real brief, then it's lower. So that's how a shofar works. And a, um, a trumpet's pretty similar. So let me get out real quick here. I have a, this is actually called a cornet. It's very much like a trumpet, but it isn't exactly a trumpet. Um, it's shorter this way but taller that way so it makes the same sounds as a trumpet it's just a little bit different size and uh, they were more common in marching bands um, this was actually my mother's so uh, years you know years ago m more often they use trumpets instead of cornets these days they have a slightly different sound to them but not much so this is a cornet and so you do the same thing in the mouthpiece and you can see how tight my uh, cheeks get with how high or low I'm going. And then when I put it in here, it makes different sounds, kind of like the shofar. And then these like are smaller in between notes and, because they're kind of big jumps with your lips. So. sounds really good it's the high ones that are hard to do see 
I'm not a very good trumpet player. I'm a piano player, not a trumpet player. But anyway, I can do enough to know how to make a sound out of it. So it's just in the tightness of those lips and uh, buzzing them together. So, um... <laughs> you go I got I managed to get several notes out of it so by pressing these are called valves it changes where the air goes so if I press this one instead of it going uh, let's see it goes around here down here and and, and so if I push uh, this one where it is right here well then I'm gonna close a valve so that it, it doesn't um, it doesn't just keep going, it goes around a different part of it. And it just changes where the sound goes depending on which ones of these you push. All right, so that's what's fun about a trumpet is in just kind of a tiny space, you got all kinds of notes and a trumpet's a pretty loud instrument. So it's kind of like the modern version of a shofar you can hear it pretty far away. That's why the reveille and things like that are usually done with a trumpet um, because they're loud. So that's the trumpet and the shofar.